So first of all, <laughs> Max, <laughs> oh, 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 Max over here, young Max. Oh yeah, little Max. Ma Max is clearly an ass man. <laughs> Max about to break his neck looking at that ass. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boy, yeah. Max about to kill himself. He about to. <laughs> He's looking yeah. like those animators. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like a young Chris Herman. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Boy, that's... Goddamn right. You know me too well now, yeah. boy. <laughs> I see where you got it from. <laughs> he wasn't even. My man wasn't even trying to hide it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> right there with you, Max. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get into it. You voted for the last retro review, and I can tell you we have a lot of millennials in our audience <laughs> because they chose the Goofy movie. I actually saw this in the theater mm. when I was just a millennial. <laughs> 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 and tell you folks, uh, don't remember anything at all. I remember Tevin Campbell was in and did the right. voice of Power Line. I remember there was a big musical number and all this. I just remember there was a kid named Max that did not get along with Dad. You know, it was a lot of stuff going on. Don't remember anything about it. I got a refresher here. Did it bring back some good memories or not? To driving his son crazy. This is pathetic. This is pretty much a road trip movie. And why are Goofy and his son Max. Why are they on a road trip together? It turns out Max is really trying to get with this girl, man. This girl named Roxanne. He loves this girl, man. And in order to get her attention and impress her, he does, he pretty much just calls havoc at school. I mean, ain't something that gets your ass expelled. Fortunately, the principal, he just said, hey, he calls the Goofy and he says, hey, man, you know, you got to get your boy over here. He's out of line. Acting like a little black kid, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's why, I don't know what other way to put it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can, we can accept the disruption, but the yeah. cultural appropriation yeah, is too much. Uh, your kid is acting like a little black boy over here going crazy. You got to do something about this boy now. What, what, what's going to happen? Come get his ass. So Goofy just says, you know what? I just got through talking to my boss, Pete. Man. And he's telling me, you know, you got you to gotta get your kid to respect you. You know, you got to get to know your kid. You got to bond with your kid in a way. And... Goofy takes that to heart and says, all right, you know what? He's, old Pete is right. We just got through talking about this. Father-son fishing trip. Let's hit the road, get to know each other. Of course, that's when Max comes in and says, man, you f my thing, man. I was about to get, the girl like what I did. We were about to, I did, but man, your timing is wrong and you didn't even ask, man. <laughs> oh, I don't care. <laughs> we're doing this. Come on, Dad, don't, don't cock block, please. <laughs> Your principal said you're acting black. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do something, son. <laughs> Get you acting like a nice white kid again. <laughs> and uh, Goof, your kid thinks he's a Negro. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do something about that. <laughs> your kid's a jive ass. <laughs> Glad my kid's not like that. Stand up, boy. <laughs> Yeah, babe. <laughs> no son of mine. <laughs> I tell you, you're not gonna act like one of them. <laughs> Get my <in the laughs> car. <laughs> Man. <laughs> uh, so, now here's the thing about this movie. It did bring it. It brought back, brought back a lot of memories. This film right here. Uh, I like the movie. I'll tell you this right now. I want you to know I like the film. I don't think the characters are very likable. It you know it took me a lot of it took me a lot of understanding to get over these characters. Wait, which character? All of, all of them. them. Okay, <laughs> all of them. Okay. I don't right. like. I don't. I don't <laughs> think these characters are very likable. I, my Goofy's my boy, and he's he's in there too. Is that right? Yeah, he's even he's in there. I don't. Yeah, I don't care for him very much. I like the movie, but these characters got they got some work to do, man. And I tell you, I love. You know what? I and it didn't it didn't start out that way. It actually took some time to get there. Because I love the opening of the movie, mm. where you <laughs> where you, your boy. Max, Max, he's, Max he's, Goof. He's pretty, Max, Max Goof. Mm -hmm. Max is pretty, the movie opens up with him just having a wet dream, man. Oh, yeah. Max. 
I said masturbate right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> Those grains of wheat. Because <laughs> he's caught up in his sheets. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh God. Trying to get, get his arm to extend. Oh. <laughs> and they, they, they even have a, they even have a, uh, an actual metaphor for the release of fluids in here. For Look, I'm just going to tell you, I, I, the way this looks like right here, it's, it's a blowjob, y'all. Oh, Max feeling good right yeah, now. Yeah. Max got sweet release right now. But them, them sheets messed up right now. <laughs> There's the semen. Yeah, they just like, say, look, the little sperms going little around. Sperm, look at yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was saying there's a, there's a metaphor here for, for, uh, for, for certain fluids being released. Look at this. Just sperm everywhere, y'all. <laughs> no, Max already got a thing for, for, for Roxanne. But it's funny because uh, Roxanne, is, it's, it's a dream. Of course. Mm -hmm, yes. So, of course, Roxanne is way hotter in this dream than she probably is in real life. Thanks to these horny ass animators right here. I tell you guys. Jeez, <laughs> man. Yeah. Watching this whole thing. <laughs> look, look at yes, this. I oh, told you. <laughs> they try to slip in every kind look of sexual. Look at these horny ass animators. They <laughs> lay curves, thing and the all curves, that. The, the yeah. thigh, upper thigh, got, the ass. Yeah, got that, got that damn uh, Megan D. Stallion ass right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, these characters, they're, they're like 14, aren't they? Yeah, they're mm -hmm. 14. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be. 14, and the animators say it hot as. <laughs> <laughs> this movie created many furries yeah. and it was animated by yeah. many furries <laughs> yeah be like that dude in training day yeah she 14 but she all woman man <laughs> horny ass anime hey yeah. man she 14 but in dog years <laughs> that's legal homes <laughs> there's a saying I don't know if y'all uh, I don't know if y'all heard this before but there's a saying in talking about man you so bad you ruin a wet dream that there's Goofy, his dad Goofy, there to prove that that is true. <laughs> she said, "You look like your daddy." <laughs> no. That's when I had, that's when I had my suspicions about Max. I was like, you know what? I that's when I thought you don't like your dad that much, man. Yeah. You don't? No, not at all. It's funny. He don't like his dad. He don't like his dad. Lo loves loves Powerline. Powerline is the is the 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 super the 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 rock star in this world. Really, he's an R and B star. Really, I don't know yeah, why yeah. they, they didn't want to say pop star. He, pop star. We'll go with that. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. yeah he's a pop star because they say rock star here in the movie. Oh. I'm like y'all. That's a general. Term. Yeah, I think yeah. that's what that means. It's supposed to be. Y'all just don't want to say R and B because you don't want little black kids. I don't know how they can't say it because he's a mix of Michael Jackson, Prince, and Bobby Brown. Well, they sure. say something, but he, you know, I'll talk. They, they even that is weird because there's something they. They say that, but they miss something later uh, uh, on the movie. But um, yeah, he loves Powerline, man. Loves Powerline more than more than his dad. And you can see just by looking at his room. I'm surprised he don't be jacking off the Powerline half the time. <laughs> I'm sure he does. I could drive in on my way to work. I know. Oh, come on, Max. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he love he loves that cardboard cart out cut out mother. He loves his dad, man. His dad could get hit by a car. He wouldn't look like that at all. <laughs> at first, you know, I I like Max, man, and I and I I like everybody actually. In the beginning, first everyone is likable to me. I admire them, but uh, for Max, I like him because I feel bad for him. Mm -hmm. Cause like the the whole neighborhood hates this mother. Man, I don't know what he did. I don't know what was going on. I mean, there's bullying, and then there's what did you do, man? Because <laughs> this whole, <laughs> the whole neighborhood is just on his ass. No more algebra tests till September. No more gym. No more gym. No more gym. I mean, they, people out there <laughs> taking they, they taking his lunch, throwing their dirty drawers into his face. Jock straps. And Jock everything. straps is like <laughs> it's like all right, you know, Max. I feel bad for you. What what did you what did you do, man? <laughs> What'd you say to these people? He breathed. Yes. Yeah. Max, you exist. That's it. He's just that goof. Yes. That's what he is. I mean, everybody, because you've seen the, because the dudes, the dudes hate him, but you yeah. expect the women and the other girls to be like, oh, Max, he's so sweet. Don't treat him like that. Oh, hell no. Gonna move to the mall. Gonna live in the pool. Gonna talk to Roxanne and not feel like a fool.
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was singing for Yeah, me. exactly. <laughs> See, that's what it is. That's what Max is all up in everybody's business. Uh-huh. Max don't know when to shut the hell up. Mm-hmm. Nobody asked you to sing. Right. That was he, our song. He keeps singing about that one girl. It's creepy. Get yeah, the exactly. fuck out of here. It's a little yeah, obsessive. We, yeah, yeah. We all talking about the end of school. You talking about, but I love her. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody asked you to. <laughs> what kind of school is Max going to, man, that the goddamn students can go there dressed like porn stars, man? <laughs> I mean, on crop tops, crop tops and titties hanging all out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shit, either teachers are trying to quit this school or trying to sign up at this school. Because, <laughs> the, man, the scenery there. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean, wink, yeah. wink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the girls here, boy, are hot, man. Like, uh, like, like ninety percent of the girls there at this school, they look like fine ass thirty year olds. Like this is a, like animated, just jacking off the twins. twins. You know, yeah. Oh. yeah, who can teach at this school? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit. Teachers, when they they either trying to quit, they getting in trouble. <laughs> Cause this is just too much. <laughs> Look, I tried to do my best. <laughs> you were here two weeks. Oh, come on, I man. know. But Look how they're dressed. <laughs> Man, look, teachers, this, these are teachers in Man, look at these bitches, man. Yeah, these dogs are sexy, man. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> like, if you if you look like these girls right here. Yeah. Like, she just gave up. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like, it, like, if you look like these girls, yeah, you, <laughs> you, got, you got it hard at this school, man. Because all these, because, again, 90% of these girls at this school, hot as f***. <laughs> and, and flexible too. Yeah, it looks like she can do it with her mouth. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, look at this. And the animals, man, the animals know what they're doing. Yes, they, they do. They're mm-hmm. like, man, she'll ride your ass up in the sunset. Yeah. Boy, you see what she do with them teeth, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Animators are horny, y'all. Yep. <laughs> Believe me, I, you, yeah, I you, used to be one. If you didn't think that, just from the reviews we've done on this show, <laughs> it's enough evidence. Of yeah. That. <laughs> and this is the Renaissance era of Disney too. So they were they drew everyone with big busts and big asses yeah. and curves. Yeah, Everything and was small tight waist. on people. Yeah, yeah. much so. <laughs> yeah, man. Horny ass animators, man. That's why I wasn't too worried about Max once I saw what uh what what Roxanne looked like outside of outside of his dreams. But Max, Max is clumsy as f- you look at Max and be like, man, you give it up, man. You ain't <laughs> got no game. This is this is uh, this is done. She ain't gonna talk to you, man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> and I'm like, no, nah, Max, you good? Cause she just average. <laughs> you know, at this school, she oh, just, you better be careful yeah. what you say. Uh, <laughs> well, they've been lusting after Roxanne for years. Yeah, well, that's that. You know, no people have drawn Ro- they they sexualized Roxanne Absolutely. later on. Well, the sure. thing about her that that works is that she is just as self conscious and awkward as he is. Yeah, sure. but he just has this you know idea of what she really in his mind. Yeah. that she's beyond me. But no, they have so much in common. I think that's what makes the relationship the little that we yeah. get so wholesome in the movie. Actually, I like that. That's all these girl, man. These girls are drawn so crazy sexualized that when I saw Roxanne looking like that, I was like, sure. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like I like uh I like that he's friends with uh, Pete's uh, son, PJ. PJ, yeah, P Junior, P Junior, yeah, Peja, Peja, as they call him sometimes. Cause you know, Pete, even when Pete is cool, cause Pete, you know, Pete can be anywhere from like a super villain to like just a kind of a shitty guy that you hang out with. You <laughs> oh, know, man. you know, he's I, I, I Pete's an asshole. Pete's, no, he's a complete he's asshole. He's an abusive dad to PJ. You know, I, I don't like how he treats PJ. Yeah, but outside the, of that, I love Pete. He's my favorite character. <laughs> no, Pete is wow. Pete is because. He's been known as Peg Lake Pete. He's been an yeah. adversary to to Mickey Mouse, you know. But it, you know, at his at, at at his best, at his most likable, he's just that guy that you're friends with who can be a big asshole sometimes. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> his, fortunately, his son is not like that. His son is actually a very sweet kid. Did you get the camera? Look, Max. If my dad catches me with this, he'll kill me. He's gonna me. beat the. Okay, so don't say anything, man. <laughs> Gonna beat me again. It is weird that nobody's reporting the abuse that Pete goes no. through. I mean, uh, Pete Jr. goes Cause through. Because when they see Pete, they're like, never mind, man. <laughs> yeah, shit. Uh, you know, even, even Polly sure is more likable as a cartoon dog. Dude, need fondage, bro. Oh, your feet. Yeah, yeah, right here. Shut up. Ouch! 
Shut up, witch. Or not. <laughs> you <know. laughs> yeah, you spoke way too soon. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I, not not as annoying. <laughs> sure. <laughs> as a cartoon dog person. I also like that Max is a real go-getter, man. Max is a... Uh, he's scared to death of rejection by Roxy, but... Uh, Roxanne, but uh, uh, he's doing whatever it takes to get her, man. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the best way that he knows how, and that is by pretty much culturally appropriating the <laughs> yes. voice of a little <laughs> black R&B singer. <laughs> <laughs> we know him as Tevin Campbell, but in this world, they know him better as Powerline. Mm -hmm. And at first, I, at first, I thought that that was not only an insulting idea, but it was a stupid idea. Some people settle for the typical thing. Shit, it worked. Yeah, she's like, oh my god. I like how her friend is looking at her like, all right, girl, don't soak the seat. I'm going to have to dump my soda in here. That's adorable. Shit, shit, Roxanne is horny as hell right now. She is. There's no mistake in that look. See, the thing with Roxanne, Roxanne, Really wants to date a black dude, but daddy won't let it, so this is the next best thing that she can get to. <laughs> but mainly, but mainly, it, it worked for getting Roxanne. Got, got, uh, got Roxanne twirling that hair right there, boy. Roxanne is turned on now. Um, and he, you know what? The thing is, it worked so well that it got, the, it got other girls out there. Because first of all... Uh, with uh, with getting Roxanne, it did work, man, and it worked out. It worked out very sweet, you know. When uh, he met her, it's like she was just kind of like, "Yeah, you know what? Let's do something." Roxanne, I was uh, sort of kind of thinking that maybe I'd um, ask you to <coughs> go with me. I'd love to. Now that's sweet, <laughs> but apparently he. He impersonated that black dude so good, it got all the girls who want a black dude at that school <laughs> going after him. I mean, the shit, the girls who treated him like shit all of a sudden now want to get with old Max. Hey, Max. Wicked dance. Thanks. Forget it, girl. He's Roxanne. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> uh, yeah, what? Yeah, 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 what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd break up with Roxanne right then and there before we even had our first day. Yeah, you, know, awesome you know, realistically, he would have been like, well, now I got to weigh my options. Yeah. <laughs> Ro Roxanne would still be there. Yeah. Oh, he's already getting massages on him <laughs> between classes and shit. Hell yeah. Said, Boy, you better get with that. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I started hating Max. Because he turned that down. No, oh, man. But hey, you know what? He, he, Max wants what he wants. Mission accomplished, Max. All right, good for you, man. Uh, even though they had to see, this is where things got getting shaky with Max. Because even though he, get, he had to do what he had to do, he did it at the at the expense of almost uh, killing a principal. Almost, he had to do this to do this. <laughs> they had to assault the head of the school. What? Ah! <laughs> 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 like, hey, that was that was Paulie did that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I had nothing to do with him uh, and that trap door. Well, no, they all worked together on this. They all they all made this plan. Yeah, but I would have dimed him out. I was like, hey, nothing to do with me. <laughs> well, you know what? Thing is, I felt bad about because I was like, hey, y'all can't do that shit. But then, then I found out the principals are racist, and I was like, no, yes, yeah, that dude, man, he's in trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? Dressed like a gang member. Gang member. Oh, okay. So, so now that, so now that all of a sudden that uh, uh, Max just starts singing black and got a black voice. Now he's a gang member. Man, I wish they. I, I hope they set up spikes down there and fall on. <laughs> this fool. Thing is, man. I'm gonna ask y'all something. That dude, that fool said gang member, man. Not he's acting unruly. Not not he's acting like a poor black kid. He's acting like a gang member. How many gang members y'all know dress up like stupid ass spaceman or superheroes? Devo. <laughs> that ain't no gang. This dude's dressed like a like, like a white new wave dude. <laughs> but nah, that, that black voice says gang member. <laughs> Get him out of here before he shoots up the school. <laughs> Well, it shows the ignorance of the character, but it also it just shows what you can get away with saying in the, the you know in the mid '90s, sure, and how he referred to certain people. Yeah. It's like, wow, oh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of shocking. And how he continues on with his whole spiel to Goofy because you it's know very funny. that makes him panic. Because it had it been the other way, he would have told him, "Come get your shot." He's acting like a. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I told him about this. <laughs> him and that black African y'all y'all music. This is uh this is where he says, you know what though? I'm not going to I'm not gonna go in here and punish the boy. No, you know, it's it's not his fault that the the black music got to him. <laughs> You it's know, mine. It's, it's it's a disease. Right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you've been poisoned by the darkies. <laughs> so, so what he's gonna do is he says, you know what I'm gonna do, let's 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 do this in a way that we can bond. Well, let's do this with some understanding. Let's uh let's take a father and son trip that I planned without your without without your input, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> without your in, without without your advice. <laughs> you know, let, but this is pretty much a kidnapping. You know? yeah. so, and of course, he's intervention. Goof- and it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. there you go, intervention. Yeah, Goofy's yeah. version and, of one. And part of me wants to be mad at Goofy. We're like, man, stand up for your kid. But it's like, ah, uh, he's a widower. Things yes, are, things are shaky yeah. for him. He's just yeah. still trying to figure it out. But still, boy, that, that, man. If you really want to understand your kid, ask him before you do something. The boy just got his his dreams just came true. This isn't just my vacation. It's a vacation with me and my best bud, you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like he just oh, Donald Duck. What? No. <laughs> I hate that asshole. It's spoken him in years. Fuck it. Mickey too. I love, I love Donald Duck. Hell no. Oh no. Well, I haven't talked to that asshole in years. Did he say something? <laughs> no, he tried to your mother once. <laughs> oh, this, this is a. Uh, I just got to be that. Me that boy was just crushed. What did you do? <laughs> oh, cock blocking dad over here. Yep. <laughs> but okay, now here's where it all starts going going downhill. Cause this is where I'm like, I'm di- I'm very, very disappointed in you, Goofy. This is just not the right way to do things. So I'm not liking him very much right now. And then he goes to tell Roxanne, and Roxanne ain't got no understanding. No. At all. <laughs> this is this this is where things get bad because this is where all these people. Everything that's going wrong is because none of these people communicate with each other. Everybody's either not listening, blowing people off, feeling sorry for themselves, or they're ignoring the other person. And Roxanne is one of the main people to do this. You see, my dad's on this stupid father-son kick in. Oh, don't worry about it, Max. It's just a dumb you surprise okay. me. I don't even want to go, but I have no I'm choice. I'm sure I can find someone else. Oh, you, you, you know, you, come on. At, at least listen to the man. I mean, she may be mad when she pulled her hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm. yeah, like in the middle of him explaining, she turns her back and walks away. Walks away. Pulls her hand away. And then the whole, I'll, I'll just get somebody else. Oh, like, oh, I'm yeah. that disposable, huh? All right. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, oh, because I ain't power line right now. <laughs> cool, you just That's brush fine. me off. Right, I'll just go the chick then. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, I bet you was with that chick now, don't you? Yeah. yeah. You look, look at it, you're like, uh-huh, you could have had this shit right here. Because she would have broke him, she would have broke him off one. Because if he had told her, man, my dad making me go already, she's like, well, shit, let's just do it quicker right now. Yeah, right. You know what? Now? And hey, this, this this ass will be waiting for you yeah. when you get back to. I mean, it might not be, but at least he would have had but, something But he had enough. it. At least he had it. Uh-huh, bitch, see, look what you missed out on. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get with Roxanne anyway after looking at her daddy, because her daddy's crazy. Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, well, my name is Max. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> if her dad's that crazy, chances are Roxanne's crazy, too. He yeah. just ain't seen it yet. She can grow yeah. into that someday. Yeah, she's going to be Roxanne. That's going to be Roxanne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna that's be, it. That's, that's going to be her. Yeah. Right <laughs> goofy just, you know, just goofy pissing me off more on this road trip, man. Making this poor boy. I mean, look, he's already miserable. Let's just, just go to the, just go to the, the, the fishing hole. Let's just get this thing over. Let's go. We have to go so I can get home and Roxanne and try to fix this thing. But my man is <laughs> goofy. He's making him go to all these sorry ass attractions like this little cheap ass Chuck E. Cheese. This old hillbilly ass Chuck E. Cheese that they go to. What the hell you looking at? <laughs> you little country. F- <laughs> that little girl had me laugh. Yeah. Because she smile. didn't want to be in there at first. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she was like, I don't want to go in there, mama. I don't want to go in there. Uh, I understand Max being mad, man. Because uh, dad got him there, and then dad took him in front of all these old 
inbred ass people and then just embarrassed him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just had him looking. I mean, these people look bad alone by themselves. <laughs> Damn, if his little inbred ass is making fun of you, calling you a dork. Yeah. That's bad, y'all. Yeah, yeah, That's bad. Dad, please get me out of yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll, now, here's where it gets to where, because it's all of this, all of this is just affecting everybody. It's just like, it's just kind of. Dominoing. It, it, yeah, it's dominoing. Or it's just, it's, it's like a virus that's affecting people because everybody just starts, this is where everybody just starts turning likable to me because everybody's just getting soured by things that are happening. I know it's because of nobody's fault of their own, but everybody just turned into just a shitty person, man. Uh, like it affects Max so much, it finally gets to him to where he just starts taking it out on others in a physically abusive way. Now you feel all good inside. I'm like, man, that, that can't sound. He has to be touched. Man, that, <laughs> yeah, it's that true. Possum didn't do nothing to him. That possum, nah, like, he was reaching. No, he was reaching. No, out. Yeah, he's no, a no. possum, man. That possum was trying to make him he feel better. He was grabbing better. ass. He, That's what he did. Yeah, exactly. No. He, he invaded Max's personal space. He's touching him, and he didn't, didn't ask for none of that. I ain't getting. I ain't letting Max slide with that shit. Out on the road. That's when they they run into Pete again. Eat now, even Pete. I already told you, Pete's an asshole. But then it turns out Pete's a bigger asshole than I thought he would be. <laughs> yes, man, Pete yes, is so is. bad because I tell you, find out that because I, I, you know, I thought like Pete was just kind of you know just a pushy dad. No, Pete's a he. Man, he abuses he's, his kids. Yeah, he's abusive. Either, if he ain't physically abusing him, he's definitely mentally abusing that kid. Woo! Strike all that. Got treating that kid like a slave. Yeah. <laughs> he's all up in that kid's mind, so man. So is everybody's dad not like that? <laughs> is that just me? Okay. Not, <laughs> not to that point. Not, not to that degree. Oh, okay. I even love Goofy and Max's reaction. They're like, oh my God. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Goofy's like, am I that bad? Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I'm, Max, I'm sorry if I ever treated you like that before. <laughs> I've kept you from getting ass, son, but I've never done that shit to yeah. you. I never hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Max was like, well, shit, I hit somebody else in a yeah, while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> I'll tell you this, though. I'll tell you this. Pete, Pete got a sweet-ass camper, man. Yes, he does. He does. Boy, yeah. I, look, I, give, <laughs> ooh, I give, I'll give it to you, boy. I, he might be an abusive dad, but I'll roll with him any day. <laughs> Shit, I'll knock over a couple yeah. pins, man. He can cuss me out all day. As long as I get to get in the pool at the end of the night, relax a little bit. Shit, I'll roll with his abusive ass all day. <laughs> uh, How's he afford that? He, he works at yeah. he works at a, a f photography. He's the manager. And he probably does some shady shit on the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Embezzling. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. He's a criminal. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, he's probably doing and some criminal shit. And he's gonna make Goofy the patsy whenever they get caught. Yeah. Uh, he, 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 <laughs> true. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's at this point when, you know, they really do see how Pete is pushing PJ around and under your and, thumb. Goofy. Yeah. And he's always, he's pulling Goofy aside too and always telling him like, now remember, treat him like shit. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and Goofy's just like, that's all right. I mean, Goofy's like, man, maybe I need to, I need to bond my son better. And they do have a chance to bond a little bit better. You know, when they're trapped in a car by a mentally challenged Bigfoot. <laughs> Boy, he loved you. He, he's like, Dad, it's a good show, yeah. man. Yeah. Well, I put on a good show. Yeah. It's, <laughs> like, it's, it's awesome, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, Hey, y'all enjoying the show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, sure. Can we leave now? No, no. <laughs> you know, he won't let him out the car doing his no. sock puppetry over here. But. It's actually kind of sweet at this moment. And I've kind of turned around on them. I'm like, all right, we're getting, we're getting someplace now. This is cool. Because it's at this point that uh, they start bonding, telling stories. Like Goofy's telling them how I used to be as a kid. Yeah. Nice story about alphabet soup. And he said, you know, you used to leave little messages for me with the, with the, with the, the, the letters. You hi, Dad hi, Soup. Yeah, Hi, Dad Soup, man. Mm -hmm. I love you. And Hi, Dad. He used to make Hi, Dad Soup. And Max even was like, you know what? Maybe I have been a little bit of a dick. I probably needs to be. Cool. I need to be cool with my dad. Make him feel better. And he gives him a little bowl of high dad soup. Wolf. <laughs> 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 so he does a solid for his dad. 
Goofy does a solid for Max, just makes him feel proud in front of a, a, a diner of strangers. <clears throat> All right, Goofy. Hereby dub my son, Maximilian, official navigator and head witch wearer. Oh, seriously? Oh, you know, they're, they're actually... Uh, that's too much. <laughs> no, I like that. I like that. That's, okay, now they're actually coming around here. Now we're getting somewhere. But even that, that God damn, even that can't, we, we can't even have that. Max is horny, Corey, come on. Well, yeah. exactly. <laughs> he, he's got a, a, a driving force yes. bigger than wanting to be nice to his dad. Oh, hormones, man. Well, the, uh, <laughs> well the, he didn't want to go on this thing in the Oh, no, place, he didn't. Man. But hey, if they're going to be nice to each other, be nice to each other and make the most out of it. So that's cool. You know, he's sweet to his dad. Dad is sweet to him. The love is there. We can't even get that. I'm like, the, even when they get nice and start having like little moments and adventures together, they, we, I can't even think they're good people there. They get out there and start having the, the fun and then they start leaving the scenes of crimes. Assholes, man. At least call somebody. Come on, man. At least I, la leave. I laughed so hard at that. Yeah. I was not expecting it. I know. I laughed hard, too. I laughed hard that they left. I was like, damn, man. At least make an anonymous call. Let them know the, a dead mind out there. Of course, as we always say, this is not as good as it seems. You know, there, there is some ulterior motive on yeah. Max's part to mm -hmm. do this. And Max actually pulls some crazy things. It gets crazy when Goofy finds out what Max has really done and he ain't telling him. So the thing that he did, that so that he wouldn't lose Roxanne at that time when Roxanne was acting like a little bitch and wouldn't, <laughs> and wouldn't listen to him explain what's really happening or understand his situation. Uh, so Max didn't know what else to do. And I don't really blame Max Red. Max I, just, I don't either. I don't no, blame him. Max just made up a... He just made up something on the spot. He was just trying to think of off the top of his head. I don't want to lose this girl, man. So he just starts lying about the thing that he's know he knows best. Power lying. Well, you see, uh, my dad um, knew knows knows power line. <laughs> You're really serious. Oh, that bitch is so shallow. Yeah, I, mean, you know, I, I know she's a big star. Yeah, every time he mentions power line, she just lights up, man. She perks up right then and there. So you know, look, he sees that. See that sparkle in her eyes? So what he does is his little ass takes Goofy's map and erases the route and just reroutes it to go to L.A. Just in case by some miracle they actually do get to go to the concert and not just go to the concert, but somehow end up on stage, bust moves with power lines yeah. so that Roxanne can see them on TV and be like, oh, he really does No power line. I guess I'll still have sex with this dude. You know, I, that, that, I really hate Roxanne in this, man. I can't stand her. I don't hate Roxanne because all these characters, like as you said, they, there's a lack of communication be, yeah. uh, between all of them. And it's because they're all going through different things. I mean, it's Goofy's just as concerned because he, he's afraid he's going to lose his son. Max is growing up, and this is after the Goof Troop, you know, the series. And so him and his father don't have that communication anymore, and he's changing. He has his own interests. Mm -hmm. And Roxanne, I mean, she is as awkward as, as Max is, and she is unsure of herself. So they're just they're just all flawed people. She's shallow. I, I, I don't I, hate I, them. I, I, they man, all have their very yeah, I, I, shallow I, aspects. I, I get with, with what you're saying. But with Roxanne, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> and it's not me hating on the women. It's just that her motivation is all about being starstruck. And she it's, it's almost like she only likes Max because of his relation to Powerline. Yeah. He, he uh, pretended to be Powerline. Yeah. And then, yeah, she might have like thought, oh, he's kind of cute before. But now it's all about Powerline. And, yeah, she he's trying to explain to her. Like, with so many cases, it's a, oh, they aren't communicating. But he was genuinely trying very hard to communicate he with her. Was. And she blew him off until he said power line. Oh, did you did someone say power line? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Well, then, then maybe I will hold my virginity till you get back. Yeah, I, I yeah. Like, it's I, not enough to say, I got to go with my dad. He could even say, like, I got to go to the concert. No, I got to go to the concert and be on the stage with the biggest if star. If she really liked him, all she had to do was, first of all, shut up and listen. Yeah. And then all she had to say was, well, you know what? I understand because I saw what you did there. That wasn't easy to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you you killed our principal. So <laughs> that was cool. So that was cool. I understand. There's going to be some repercussions. So what's going to happen here is I'll go to the party with my girlfriend. 
And when you get back and get everything sorted with your dad, we'll do something together. Yes. That's all she Super had to say. Easy. I oh. think you're underestimating how unreasonable teenagers can be. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know what? But that's fair. Maybe, maybe I'm just not, maybe I don't, maybe I have no understanding either. But I, I don't like that chick, man. <laughs> Telling you right now. <laughs> And she seemed so sweet before. And then you get to go like, oh, this yeah. is what you're really about. Yeah. Okay. I've seen her. I've seen her daddy. I don't like these people. They don't, no, I don't trust them. I don't trust them at all. But thing is, man, it's Max's decision, whatever he wants to do. But now he's deceiving his daddy. And, I don't, and, and, and Pete, like I say, Pete, I expect Pete to be Pete. But goddamn, Pete can hit some lows sometimes <laughs> with his punk ass. Pete, man, Pete. Man, even I'm surprised how low, how low Pete will, will, will go, man. I love Pete. He cracks me man, up. <laughs> punk, punk ass Pete, man. So Pete, Pete is already kind of jealous. He's already trying to talk trash because he's he abused his son. They, they, they ain't that close. So when he sees Max and Goofy getting close, uh -huh. he gets all jealous. And then he just, and so it's only a matter of time before he's going to try to put a, wedge, put a wedge between them. So when you know it, that... So Max is talking to PJ, and he's talking to PJ, saying, "Yeah, man, I took the, my dad's map and I just rerouted the thing. He don't know. He don't know a damn thing." Turns out, man, lock that door, cause especially when when you around Pete, <laughs> cause Pete be creeping, y'all. And of course, Pete, Pete hears the plan. Changing the map. I, I, I didn't know what he was doing. All right, I, I, I was I was panicked. And of course, his big ass goes, and the first thing he does is snitch. snitch. <laughs> oh, punk ass snitch. He likes drama. Yeah, he, Pete ain't nothing but a snitch, bitch, man. <laughs> look, look at you. I mean, look at that little punk ass face. Mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna get your over. ass. Then he goes and tries to hold this over. Over Goofy said, well, I guess your kid's just an asshole, man. Yeah. Man, I hate to tell you this, Goofy. I know. Whenever somebody starts with, I hate to be the one to tell you. Like, <laughs> no, you don't. I don't. He's relishing you, it. You relish, exactly. Yeah. You relish this. <laughs> <laughs> Goof had to be the one to tell you, but your kid's a little shit, man. Not not like my not like my son who knows how to behave, right? Well, I heard the little mutant telling PJ you. that he changed the map, so you're heading straight to LA. He's just a bad kid, that's all. <laughs> just Goofy's delivery. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he, boy, I mean, my man is hurt. He's in shock. Know, I know. No, oh his his heart is in his stomach now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I don't really like the way Goofy handled this. I feel bad for him, but I don't like the way he handled this. Yeah, it's kind of sneaky himself. Yeah, man, it's, it's like, gotta be like, a, like a lot of this could have been solved by people just being direct with exactly. each other. Exactly. That's yeah. why they, man, I'm so this sitcom <laughs> shit that they got where nobody wants to talk is pissing me off with them. I don't like any of these people. I understand them except that you Roxanne, your bitches, but in Pete, you, Pete Roxanne needs to hook up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It would be like Pete to bring her home. Hey, look at your new mom. <laughs> <laughs> I met her working at the Sonic. Oh, oh, that's, that's some Rule 34 yeah. shit. Don't put that out there. <laughs> Max, I, I hate to tell you, man. But, but uh, yeah, man. Instead of taking... instead Look, it's, it, instead of taking Max aside and being like, hey, no, son, is there something you want to tell me? You know, and then, uh, 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 you know, start acting like a man with him. Yeah. You know, who, uh, he doesn't do all that. No, what he does is, <laughs> this dude, he's the, I'm looking at this right here, Goop, Goofy, Goofy just starts acting like a, he starts acting like a man who just found out that his wife is another dude yeah <laughs> he's, he's all down and everything yeah being he, all passive aggressive being all passive aggressive yeah he's all in shock and shit it's like man get pull your son aside and say boy you can fucking lie to me <laughs> but he don't do that man he he pulls him aside and i give him i give him credit for this i give him credit that he tries to actually he says i'm gonna give this boy one chance to do yeah. the right uh -huh, thing uh -huh. i'm not you know let him be the one to actually do this without me having to force him. That shows what kind of person he is. That shows some real love. Okay, Max, now this is it. <laughs> Boy, he was ready. Yeah. <laughs> he was ready to turn right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jesus, Dad, what a <laughs> 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 
boy feelings just hurt. Look at him. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess you made your decision. <laughs> Never seen Goofy look that way before. Goofy is hurt. I told you, he's like a wife in this who's upset at her husband, man. <laughs> and he really does. Instead of instead of just stopping the car and being like, you know what? Nah, enough games, goddammit. Now, what the hell are you trying to pull? You know, you know he's he started acting like an angry wife, man. You know, giving him the silent treatment instead of being a parent. Will you listen to me? I gotta tell you something, Dad. Why bother? Be a goddamn parent to your son. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Quit all this. This is not your friend. Uh -huh. This is not your lover. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is uh -huh. your son, uh -huh. man. It is what I, I'm frustrated with all these people now. Of course, what does it take for them to get along? Them almost dying, end up on some rapids and trauma's hell of a motivator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, traumatized. It makes them feel like, oh shit, you know, we better say we love each other before we die. <laughs> Damn, Max, you suck. <laughs> All you had to do was grab the line. Of course, that's what brings them close to death, and they realize that they love each other. Yeah. And <laughs> that's what... Sad uh, it had to come to that. <laughs> it, yeah, that's, that's what it took, y'all. Yeah, so... Oh, let me see here. That's what it took them to get their shit together. But they, what happens was... What happens is, is that they do actually... Make up and then Goofy says, "All right, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go to L.A. The trip's not over. You know, we're already closer there anyway than to the other place. So let's try to see what happens, man. So they illegally sneak into the concert to go see Powerline. Uh, oh, suddenly Goofy doesn't care about the law. <laughs> no, no. All of a sudden, no. He's a bad influence all on his son. Sneaking off. Oh, what if I got that scene? They sneaked in there." <laughs> They, like, yeah, in, in instrument cases. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they smuggled themselves in there, man. I think there's a scene actually missing that they cut out of the movie. Is there? The, yeah, because when it got, after you know the whole them having that conversation, the rapids, and then almost dying, then there's like, okay, we're going to go to L.A. And then they're in the back of that truck and yeah. they're delivered. And I think there was another scene that was there with them getting in the truck oh, and everything. Okay. That feels like, this is weird. Okay. I think at this point, they're like, we got to wrap this movie up. I don't even know how they did this. It does feel like something's missing because they smuggled themselves in. They don't show you how they got in these cases. No. They don't show you how they rolled up in there, but they in there. <laughs> So look at yo, <laughs> yo criminal ass. <laughs> Is it all clear? <laughs> We're criminals, son. Isn't it great? It's like what he used to do with Mickey and Donald back in the day. Yeah, before Mickey made all of his money. Oh, that's back in that wild days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now yeah, he's got yeah, kids. Now he's got a now he's got a son to date to raise. <laughs> I'm not even lie. Power line's a badass, baby. Goddamn right. Yeah. It's funny because he's clearly he's clearly Michael Jackson, oh, y'all. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, but they but I read somewhere cuz we did a trivia on this a long time ago. Hmm. I don't know if it's goofy movie trivia or something, but this came up about goofy movie when we were doing this. Yes, it was like cartoons or animated. Films. It's like, yeah. And they cuz they it's clearly Michael Jackson, but the 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 information I found at least they said, "Oh yeah, well, he's he and you might notice this, but he is a combination of Prince and Bobby Brown. No Michael Jackson was mentioned at all. Oh, the thing I read put Michael Jackson in there. Did they? Good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that, that, yeah, I also read, I mean, you know, who knows if it's true, that Bobby Brown was supposed to do all the music, but his drug problems were just like Actually, out of you know what? No, when during that time, I read that too. That, and, I, and I know about the drug, uh, the drug problems. People yeah. are like, well, ain't that obvious? But, <laughs> but, yeah, I heard that Bobby Brown was actually supposed to do that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's two yeah. parts of here where I... <laughs> laughed so hard. I rewound those things three times and laughed at them because you find out what kind of women both Max and Goofy like. So first of all, <laughs> Max, oh, 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 Max over here, young Max. Oh yeah, little Max. Ma Max is clearly an ass man. <laughs> Boy, <he's about> to, <laughs> Max about to break his neck looking at that ass. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Boy, yeah. Max is about to kill himself. He about to. <laughs> He's looking yeah. like those animators. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like a young Chris Herman. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Boy, that's <laughs> goddamn right. You know me too well now, yeah. boy. <laughs> I see where you got it from. <laughs> he wasn't even. My man wasn't even trying to hide it. Look at it. Oh yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> right there with you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hear that crack. <laughs> 
<laughs> you all right? My, neck, my neck is stuck. I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't move my neck back. Ah, shit. <laughs> it came off. Shit! <laughs> Boy, but Goofy was... No, oh, Goofy's reaction is great. Hey, man, you know, he's been a widow. Yeah, <laughs> man. And he has a sickness for the he, thickness, man. Yeah, Come on. He has a sickness for the <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah. When you say witness the thickness, <laughs> Goofy likes him big. I wonder what Miss Goofy looked like when she was alive. Because my man, but his yeah. action, I had to laugh so hard. Gorsh. I had to laugh Gorsh. so hard. He, was, he likes it big. He walked up this big woman and he lost his mind. Yeah, where we both belong. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he, boy, he's so turned on. He's losing his mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even the reaction like, oh, I should leave. No, know, no. Like, uh, All right, I'm losing girl. my goddamn mind. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's been memed and gifted yeah. so many times. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> boy, he, he tied himself in nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I laughed so hard at that. I love that, man. But uh, after... Killing a guy. <laughs> to the glee of the audience. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah that show's awesome. Yeah, that man. <laughs> y'all, that man is dead. That guy was just doing his job. Yeah, that was a security guard. <laughs> <laughs> that man's electrocuted. That man is yeah. fried. Yeah, yeah. So that's like a bug going into a bug zapper. <laughs> that man is dead. Uh, but they make they make it on stage with Powerline, where he wins over Roxanne, man. Again. <laughs> Again. Yeah, Roxanne. That's my man. Roxanne can even dance. What the f what the hell kind of, what but I give them a month. Yeah. Oh tsh. two yeah. weeks. Two yeah. <laughs> yeah, she seemed like such a prize from afar. And he's got all these fantasies, but when he actually gets what he's gonna yeah. be like, yeah, this is not this working is out. No, well, no. it's why you guys say that, because they did do a sequel called an Extremely Goofy Movie and they're not together. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So that might yeah. be the case. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'm about to say, uh, you, you don't say. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. Yeah, well, once he gets a rock, he's gonna find out how shallow she is. She awkward. She can't dance. I don't know what the hell that is she doing over there. She got probably a bunch of neuroses and from that dad, all kinds of. Oh, like the mom probably left, so she's got abandonment issues. Yeah, she's gonna be completely possessive of him. Oh well, yeah, like checking his phone every day. Oh, she need help, man. She a mess. But I tell you, uh, after all that, he wins over Roxanne and wins me over too. Boy, Powerline puts on a good show, yes, he man. Does. He does. That eye to eye number. Eye to eye. <laughs> get it get it it's funny how often a musical number like this in a cartoon would be kind of lame you'd be like yeah all right yeah but you know, with, really with most of the songs in this and even the power line stuff you're like this is legit i could i, I, I could listen to this on cd yeah no this yeah. is this is fun and this this was the era where they were just all their films were musicals because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. this came out like the same what, what a year after like the lion king, lion king yeah yeah. And things, so. yeah and it was this is this is a musical in, in yeah. a sense they have like three songs in here including more by the by power line or kevin campbell mm -hmm. um so after lying to each other deceiving each other trespassing breaking laws killing people uh, Goofy and Max are finally closer than ever. Roxanne and 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 Max are communicating. Kinda. I, this. I want to choke this chick so bad. You mean that story about Powerline and your dad? Why would you make up something like that? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Cause you about to dump my ass when I was trying to tell you the truth. You dumb dumb people. I can't stand this girl. I can't get out of here. Get out of here before I hurt her. <laughs> that girl's getting on my last nerves right now. But hey, <laughs> her spin it around. Why would you lie? <laughs> Putting that on him. What? Gaslighting him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, she still, just, you know, she, I, I'll give her this. After coming clean, she still gets with the man. And, uh, you know, they, they, try to, they try to work something out. You want to do something tonight? <clears throat> Definitely. How about tomorrow? Deal. 
right? <laughs> <laughs> How they give you consent? Oh, good for you, Max. <laughs> yeah, it's like an end there. Yeah, shit, I ain't letting this go again. <laughs> I guess I, I'm like Martin. I give it a week. Yeah, man. Once she realizes, you know, all this goof, all this. Uh, all, once she realizes, like he's more goofy than Powerline. That shit ain't gonna be. Yeah, and he realizes, oh, she's not like she is in my fantasy. No, no. Man, she wants me to sing like Powerline all the time. And she's gonna give it a black dude after this. <laughs> yeah, that, that one kiss he got, that's probably it. Yeah. <laughs> she's just gonna string him along. But hey, he gives he gets with him, man. And uh, you know, he tells of course, they work it out to where, all right, you know what? Tonight I gotta hang out with my dad. Uh, tomorrow night we'll hang out with something. So in the end, it all works out for everybody. Damn. You know what? I'm free tonight, actually. <laughs> <laughs> My schedule what? just cleared up right now. What, what about your dad? I'll plan the funeral tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> they got to pick up the pieces anyway, yeah. so it's going to take a while. <laughs> 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 I have a concussion. Can you call someone to go to the hospital? <laughs> Please. Man, that's why he's making that face. I think hit, so. Because he's hit his head so many times. That's what that bump is. Yeah. <laughs> it's years of concussions and head trauma. <laughs> uh, and as you can see, people are living happily ever after, at least for, for, now. for the foreseeable future. I, I do have... I do have some questions. There's there's some very weird things that happen in, in these uh in, in, in a lot of these movies, but in particularly this one. There's a lot of meta stuff that brings up just just some weird questions. Like there's a scene where Max answers a phone. Okay, now the question is, so is Mickey that famous in this? Is he famous enough to have his own phone? Because yes, apparently. Well well, he's so famous, but then him and Donald, well, you know, they were all boys, so is he just not helping him out? Because Goofy got to get a job at the mall as a photographer. Yeah, man, but you can't help him out forever. Yeah. You give, you know, you give him, break him off a little sum at first, but he spins and goes like, yeah, Mika kind of ran through the money. It's like, well, that's sort well, of last you. Time. I guess so. <laughs> maybe. I can't help anymore, Goof. <laughs> I mean, look, he's got a house. He's he, got a job. He's doing yeah. fine. I'm just saying, you know, Mickey can't help him out because in... What's going on with Mickey? Because if, if Mickey that, is that famous, why is he hitchhiking on the side of the road? What the f*** does this make? So you get your own phone, but you still hitchhiking with this damn duck right here? And so so technically, either either, either uh, uh, Mickey is so famous that he just don't mess with Goofy no more, or Mickey don't know how to handle his money. <laughs> He's broke. <laughs> And maybe Goofy don't mess with him. <laughs> That's why he ignores yeah, him. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> you know he's got a coke problem. <laughs> right? <laughs> ah, I, well, you guys, did you enjoy the retro review right there? I knew it would be fun, but hey, you know, that's us. I don't know. What do you... What do you guys think? Did you like it? They better have enjoyed it because they voted for it. Yeah, yes. goddamn right. <laughs> hey, everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 